Hi everyone, Monanda Rahim Sandal with you from Mind Your Power. Today is day five of our 30-day challenge. So we already have our goal, we have our vision, we know what's stopping us, what's holding us back, I hope. Um, we Yesterday we spoke about the emotions holding you back and also we spoke about what tools do you need, what uh, um, skill sets do you need, etc. Today we're going to see who are we going to involve. Who is it that's uh, automatically involved? Maybe because it's the same company, maybe it's because it's the same family, maybe it's the same household, maybe it's my children, my husband, my wife, my parents, whoever it is, your partner. Um, so think about the people who are directly involved and affected by what you are doing. We need to check this out. This is very important because if because if my plan doesn't correspond or fit into the ecology, into my environment, into my surroundings, something will stop it. Either the people around me will convince me or will stop me, or I will feel misplaced and I will stop. So very important to, to see exactly what is the environment and how does it fit into the environment. Make that check before you start. The second step is when you have checked everybody who's involved, everybody who's affected, who can you use? Who is, in, who is directly involved? Who's only affected and who is involved? When you know who's involved, how are they involved? Are they directly involved, meaning they have to contribute? Or are they just involved because they will have the gain that I have? Or they will hear my voice if I'm starting to sing? Um, what is it that they are going to be uh, experiencing while I'm doing that project? Yeah, And then, when you know the people, then start talking to them, start involving them, start telling them about your project. That excitement that you have inside of you, start sharing it. There are two things that are important here. One is the more you talk about it, the more you make it real, the more you make it your project and your reality, the, the better chances you have that you will just follow through because it is already part of your reality. And the second part here is that commitment. You're committing not only to yourself, but you're also committing to others that who, who will probably hold you accountable for it. Yeah. So do that. Tell as many people as you can um, obviously not in person now, but you can call, you can put it, even put it on social media if you want, on your status, whatever you want. Tell people what you are going to do. That commitment, that accountability will keep you on track. The days where you think, ah, I don't feel like doing it today. Okay, so for today, very easy. Check up check out your environment, your ecology, the people around you, who's affected, who's directly involved, speak to them, involve them, share, 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 and by sharing you're holding yourself accountable, you're committing to whatever you want to do. I'll see you tomorrow. Munanda Rahim Santl with you from Mind Your Power.